So, I mean, so for example, you go to an African village, happens all the time, they leave a full-born baby by the fire, they don't want it, they discard it, happens tons of times. Any missionary will tell you that. They just discard babies. Why, why, they don't believe it's wrong, it's just in their code and custom, no one feels bad about it, just discard kids you don't want. Are they wrong? Um, for me, yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. But, it, but, it's well, it's well, a bullet I no, do no, have no, to bite from my worldview. Hold on, hold on. Are they objectively wrong? Is it objective? No. No. So I don't believe in objective morality. So that can apply so to any statement. So it's not objectively wrong to leave a full-born baby by the fire and just say, you're on your own, have a nice life. Well, yeah, I'm calling into question objective morality. So I obviously have no, to No, I know. I'm bullet. just trying to make you hear back how insane what you are saying. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Woke mind virus take over college kids. Mora Compress. This is by Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick. Big boy, he love kicking us. Let's check this video out together. Oh, uh, hello. Um, yeah, so I've seen you like talk a lot about like objective morality. Um, and my big question is, you know, it feels like you can make good statements and bad statements without referencing some kind of like, um, like moral book. So I can say like something is good, right? I had a good day today. And it doesn't really feel like I need to reference religion for that. Um, like, so, can you explain to me why you think we need to have some kind of absolute standard for, like, morality? Excellent question. It's really good. If you say you have a good day, are you describing the experience you had, or was it morally a good day? Um, so yeah, it would be a good day. So I can, like, narrow it down more, I guess. Um, or I can ask, I guess, like, a better question. So if I don't have religion, right, let's say I am an atheist or something, and I were to go up to... Um, I find like two books. One's the Quran and then one is the Bible. And I read both of them and then I have a feeling of preference towards one or the other. That makes me feel like morality probably isn't objective because I read two moral codes. I didn't have one before and then I derived one after reading it. But one is true. Well, yeah, obviously if you go in with the presupposition that one is true. But so like, let's, clearly, play, let's play this uh, out. If, not sorry to interrupt. If I'm on an island and let's just demystify part of this, and there's the Bible, and then there's Lord of the Rings, mm -hmm. and I end up believing in one of those, which is true. Um, well, what's true is just what corresponds with reality. We're talking uh, about- Ah, I um, agree. So which yeah. one has evidence, and when applied in the natural world, actually shows a flourishing people and society and a way to live? Because you would agree, at least out of eight out of 10 of the 10 commandments, they're pretty good rules for life, No, right? yeah, 100%. You know, of course, yes. No, How, but so, the thing that I'm talking about is doesn't have to do with whether or not Christianity is good or bad or whether no, I agree with most of... Yeah, it's just regarding like... Um, yeah, one can be true, but even if one is true, it doesn't really feel like I'm influenced in terms of what I feel is good or bad because obviously, you know, there are people who are Muslim who have read, you know, the Bible and still are more persuaded by Islam. No, of course. I mean, you could be persuaded by anything, right? That, that doesn't... I believe that there is a transcendent way of living. I call that the Bible, right? And I believe it's the perfect catalog from creation to the end of the world. You don't have to agree with that. I'm talking strictly from a moral sense. So let's just ask a, a separate question, which is, do you think people are naturally, naturally, outside of, you know, religious teaching, good or not so good? Um, the, I, the nature of humanity. The nature... I wouldn't be comfortable making a statement about That's it. Fair enough, and I appreciate that. So we believe, as Christians or those in the space, human beings are pretty awful, okay? That we're broken, that we're sinful, that we fall short of the glory of God, and that we need to teach people how to be good. A common left-wing belief is that human beings are actually awesome, and they're terrific, and the reason why things are not so good is because of capitalism or the patriarchy or feminism or whatever. So you're asking a question of, you know, why do we need objective morality? Well... Uh, or, or what is specifically? Um, yeah, so not necessarily why we need objective morality, but you seem to be, because obviously I don't believe that it's a thing, but you seem to make the claim do, that like Do you we believe can... that absolutely? Um, no. <laughs> um, okay, good. But You're consistent. Yeah, the, the big thing is, is for me, even if I have a God, there is no thing telling me like, you know, it's just like the is ought problem, right? That's like my big contention, right? How am I ever going to derive a claim about what I should do from only statements about the nature of being? Got it. So is you, you would believe murder's wrong? Um, yeah. Why, why, why do you believe that? Because in its definition, it says it's wrong, right? It's wrong killing of somebody. Or at least that's my understanding of it. Okay, so 
I mean, so for example, you go to an African village, happens all the time, they leave a full-born baby by the fire, they don't want it, they discard it, happens tons of times. Any missionary will tell you that. They just discard babies. Why, why, they don't believe it's wrong, it's just in their code and custom, no one feels bad about it, just discard kids you don't want. Are they wrong? Um, for me, yeah, they're wrong. Yeah. But, it, but, it's well, it's well, a bullet I no, do no, have no, to bite from my worldview. Hold on, hold on. Are they objectively wrong? Is it objective? No. No. So I don't believe in objective morality. So that can apply so to any statement. So it's not objectively wrong to leave a full-born baby by the fire and just say, you're on your own, have a nice life. Well, yeah, I'm calling into question objective morality. So I obviously have no, to No, I know. I'm bullet. just trying to make you hear back how insane what you are saying. Well, you're so, making a claim no, about no. the objectivity of it. No, you're I know. So, no, 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 let, let's, let's get, obviously, I think it's wrong. Let's get more graphic. So you okay. put you put a thousand Jews in a gas chamber, mm -hmm. and the Nazis thought what they were doing was good, and they pressed the button. Mm -hmm. Were they right or were they wrong in gassing millions of Jews? Objectively, you can't, like, when you say, is it objectively wrong? Hold on, wait, wait. If you say it's objectively wrong, you're implying that you can derive a truth value from it. And I don't think you can. So I don't think that you can make a true statement regarding whether something's good or bad. Got it. So just to be clear, the Nazis could have been right in their actions, in your view. That implies that right is an actual thing. I don't believe you can determine a truth value from a moral claim. So the Nazis were not objectively evil. Yeah, I've said that like four times. Like, yeah, you can't derive no, objective moral statements okay. from like things. Thank I'm not you. saying they're not wrong. Like they are wrong. Oh. Well, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah. No, I, I just want to make sure we're, this is important because what you are saying, and you're saying it very clearly, mm -hmm. is that we look at the Holocaust and it's just a matter of opinion. Yeah, that's kind of the problem of being an atheist. You have to bite the bullet. I respect your intellectual clarity, and I will say... And obviously, well, for clarity, no, 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 I no. obviously think the Holocaust is wrong. So, no, I, <laughs> if anyone's questioning no, about that, No, but it's that, just, it's just yeah. your opinion. I believe that it's objectively wrong, mm -hmm. no matter who you are or where you come from, because it transcends opinion. Do you think, last question, I mm -hmm. appreciate your clarity on this, do you see wh how your view could result in a lot of dead people? Well, I don't think my view is really a... I'm not making a claim that we should behave in a way... No, no, you're making claims. Well... I am making claims, yeah, but I'm not making a claim that, like, we should behave in a certain way or, like, that we ought to, like, you know, not have Christianity or some kind no, no, of No, I'm not code. saying that, but let me play this out, and I think you'll understand. No, I understand, cause because you're going to say, well, there's all these bad things that could happen if people or, follow or, me. Or that did happen. No, 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 I'm not following mm -hmm. you. If your view becomes a view of a country, mm -hmm. and, for example, putting a thousand Jews in a gas chamber is not deemed as objectively wrong, transcendent above anyone's opinion, mm -hmm. th then all of a sudden... What would prevent that evil thing from occurring and nobody questioning mm. it? Sure. So my main idea, I guess, with the worldview is I'm not making a claim again about how things should be. I'm making a claim that this is how things are. So within my like worldview, this is all fine. You can have people agreeing that things are wrong. Generally, I think most, moral, most people's moral intuitions will lead them to thinking that things like murder is wrong and stealing is wrong because it makes you feel bad, right? No, well, if I see somebody get hurt, that makes me feel bad. If you see somebody no, die, course, that makes you totally. feel bad. Yeah, the, the, the SS guards didn't feel bad when they killed Jews, and that's okay. But do you see where this might unravel into mass murder and societal chaos. Yeah, it, that happens in the real world. I'm making a description about the way people derive their morals. I'm not saying how we should or shouldn't. I'm saying this is how you just like derive your morals. If you have two books there, the trueness or correspondence with reality has zero anything to do with your preference towards, you know, one moral system well, or another. Hold on. Or maybe the true one says don't gas the Jews. That and would be, don't yeah, murder. that would be obviously, Because God you know, I, will judge you harshly. Yeah, 100%. Maybe the true, I mean, just hear me out. Maybe the true one says that life is good and that there is a creator who loves you. But maybe, now what you're doing maybe. is you're just making claims about what you think, like, yeah, obviously it would be awesome if I had a moral code that everyone had to follow that agreed with I know, if only a book existed. Yeah, I know, if only. But my If, if only there was this amazing that, book. Yeah, but my point is that... No, you're, you're, being, that you're being super clear. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, yeah. No, and you have, you're the first person ever, to your credit, to answer the atheist Nazi question clearly, which is that an atheist cannot objectively say yeah. that the Holocaust is wrong. I'm arguing against objective, like the idea that... No, you're, you're being... Yeah. Usually there's some withering there. You, you went right into there. Well, so. yeah, I can't go in here and, like, not bite the bullets of, like, what my argument implies, like... We have clarity, but not agreement. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your time. Okay. I see the student has smart. Um, well, his own points of view can lead to a little bit. <laughs> uh, I see him as someone who's very, very clever. Like, 
and I love his guts. He has that boldness, and I respect him for that. There's no students who have come to Charlie that have such boldness to speak about how they feel, what they see, tenses. And he's an atheist, and he stands by it, and he he really knows what he's talking about. But at the same time, what's he saying? The way he's talking about it, he's saying something that is morally right and. If it's like no one can judge, no one can state this is right or wrong in the eye of another person. So if a baby is being left in the fire by um, some Africans, they leave the baby in the fire because they don't want the baby anymore. For them, it's right. For you, it's wrong. And you don't have to judge anyone what they're doing is wrong. But then they know what they're doing is wrong. There's no how you tell me someone leaving a newborn baby in the fire because they don't want the baby again is right. No, it's wrong. So this was interesting to watch. I love how Charlie handled it. Um, I love that they, they came to um, a conclusion, but not an agreement. Uh, they never agreed, but they came to a conclusion. It was just beautiful to watch the student. Uh, I, lo- I just love the student boldness. I love how he, he stands for what he knows. And he does, just does not want anyone to change his mindset or how he perceives himself. But... With the way he's going and the way he accepts his narrative or his ideology, it can lead to a lot of death and a lot of chaos. So, um, if you see it, the world we are living in right now, if we are not to abide to the things in the Bible, do not kill, do not steal, the Ten Commandments, and also the, the instruction in, in the Bible, you know, like, this world itself will not go in a very straight path. There will be a lot of chaos. We all know that. Like We all accept that. There will be a lot of chaos, a lot of war, a lot of um, hatred. A, a, a lot of things is going to happen. It's just the Bible we have that we are living by as Christians. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to China. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag Like an old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch in my bed I got scales all